aquí estamos después de la visita al otro lado del puente y estamos con las pastoras Amy, pastora Lucy, pastora Maribel y Noemí de nuevo conmigo y voy a dar oportunidad que um, ellas hablen um, después de nuestra experiencia en el uh, puente o cruzando el puente. So we had the opportunity to speak with many, many people and over the next few days and weeks we'll be making their stories known for their own safety. Uh, we won't share their real names, but um, some of the stories were heard were stories of people who had traveled for uh, 15 days, 30 days uh, on foot in the back of trailers uh, who had been kidnapped on the way. That was a common, a common thing, not just something that happened to happen to a few people, but it was almost expected that somewhere along the lines in Mexico, you would be kidnapped uh, as, and, and someone would have to pay to get you out. We heard stories of suicide. We heard stories of separation from uh, children. We heard stories in detention center of a woman whose child died. And when she yelled out, she yelled out and said, my child has died. And the guard said back, that's what you get for being in a country that's not yours. And surely you and I, if we disagree on what our law should be, what the policy should be, certainly as people of faith or just simply as human beings, we can agree that that is not who we want to be that we uh, have lost our capacity to see the image of God in all people, including those who are journeying for safety, for those who are fleeing violence only to find it here. In the coming days, I could go on and on and I will, uh, but we'll be sharing more stories as the, uh, in the coming days and weeks. And I'll give opportunity for these pastors to share their experience too. It was a humbling experience. It was a sacred experience to not only hear their stories, but to be able to pray alongside with them, to shed tears with them, uh, to hold their hand, to hug them, and to remind them and possibly to remind myself that God is with us no matter what valley we are going through. Thank you, Pastor Amy. And